Hello everyone and once again we welcome you to Messiah's Wednesday's Reflections. Um, I am glad that you're able to join us. As a reminder, we will begin in-person worshiping once again this Sunday, February 14th, that's Valentine's Day, at 9.30 a.m. You will need to register. You may do so by either calling the church office at 995 0133 between the hours of 9 through 3 p.m. Or you may register online at www.messiahnfm.com. That's www.messiahnfm.com. Our opening prayer can be found in the front portion of the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Hymnal. Uh, it's on page 86. Today, we pray the famous prayer of Catherine of Siena. Let us pray. Powerful of the Eternal Father, help me. Wisdom of the Son, enlighten the eye of my understanding. Tender mercy of the Holy Spirit, unite my heart to yourself. Eternal God, restore health to the sick and life to the dead. Give us a voice, your own voice, to cry to you for mercy for the world. You, light, give us light. You, wisdom, give us wisdom. You, supreme strength, strengthen us. Amen. The title of Jennifer Baker Trinity's reflection for this Sunday's Gospel reading is Sent Down from the Mountain. And she bases her reflection on the familiar hymn, How Good Lord to Be Here. You can find this hymn in the Lutheran Book of Worship, hymn number 89, or in the ELW, hymn number 315. Trinity writes, Mountaineer Greg Mortensen, son of Lutheran missionaries, witnessed the blinding majesty of mountains. An accomplished climber, he attempted to scale K2 in Pakistan during the summer of 1993. He wanted to reach the summit to honor his late sister, Krista. Greg experienced the wonder of the mountains, but he did not scale the summit. A series of unplanned events brought him to a remote village in Pakistan where his time among the villagers transformed him. Instead of making plans for another climbing expedition, he promised to build a school in the impoverished region. Thus began a different kind of arduous journey that has been recorded in the popular book, Three Cups of Tea. You can find more information on that book by visiting www.3cupsoftea.com. On this Transfiguration Sunday, we hear how Peter, James, and John gaze at Jesus arrayed in splendid light on a mountaintop. Like Mortensen, we have all had mountaintop experiences, events that make us want to stay and bask in the glory of it all but we cannot stay. Like Jesus and his disciples, we make our way down the mountains and into unexpected terrain. Every time we gather for worship, we gather to be sent. Worship itself can be one of those mountaintop experiences replanted with beauty, yet we are always sent from such places into the common everyday needs of our families, communities, and world. The light we have seen in Jesus shines through our hands and our feet, helping us to build schools and recognize whatever needs call to us. We cannot stay on the mountain, but the glory we have seen will guide us to the descent. Let us pray.